Welcome to the stronghold. Okay, fans over and below the game. Okay, just rescued Gundren Rockseeker. And I do believe you're heading back to the town of Fandolin. Yep. Very nice. Okay, was there anything in Fandolin you wanted to do? I know Gundren Rockseeker wants to head off to a Wave Echo Cave as soon as possible. So there would have been a long rest between the mm. castle and, and the night. Absolutely. You would have stayed overnight at the inn. So just reading through the quests, I believe the town master gave us a quest to clear out Cragmore Castle. I'm pretty sure he did. 500 gold. Mm. Yeah, quite so much got done. I think we'd like to collect that amount of money. Yep. If at all possible. Absolutely. That was 500 gold total, wasn't it? No, that's what I wrote. Yeah, so. Sounds right. Collect your bounty. And then there is you just a bit of a pick. Um, some stuff that was found from the recording. I don't know if you want to do this now or I can do it later. Oh. Does anyone want the bloody chainmail? Or do we want to check out the bloody chainmail? Oh, actually, sorry. I've got a question mark. This this might all be Strider stuff. Can we touch base with Strider? Ah, uh, Silda. Silda. Yep, yep. See, the bloody Silda. chainmail, the short sword, the heavy crossbow, and the unsheathed longsword with the crest of Neverwinter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is his stuff? Mm. He is actually back in town. You can also check with the Lord's Alliance. It's the crest of Neverwinter. Well, that might be that's why I said because that probably is his stuff. Well, that's who he is, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Right. Yeah. Silver Hall Winter. Yeah. Silver. I've got the silver stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, can we check in with him if that is his stuff? If he would like to back. Hmm. It is his stuff, and he would like it back. <laughs> <laughs> we have to sell it to him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's it because that goes to him. Um, do we want to keep the morning star that King Roll had? The silver jeweled teeth. Again, King Roll. That's right. That you ripped out, <laughs> and a chalice and a censer. And five perfume bottles. Did you say jewel teeth? Jewel teeth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Space teeth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like these boots. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Going off to you then. Does anyone want to keep the morning star? Or do they... Was it ogre or troll? Or... I don't think that was bugbear. Bugbear, yeah. It was like this giant thing, I forgot what it was. Dire wolf. Well, it might have been a dial. Because there was a dial with the bug there, mm -hmm. and then the weird shapeshifter. And then all the stuff from a cupboard behind us. Yeah. That just got. So, are you happy to sell the perfume bottles, the chalice, and the sensor? Which I've got. How much are perfume bottles? It's like 20 gold pieces or something each. We don't need the morning star either. It's not good enough for me. Oh, yeah, I think you've got some pretty good ones. I've got the um, woodsman's axe. Oh, that's right. It does a 1d12 instead of 1d8. Yeah. Yeah. 20 gold each. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that, that'd be 100 yeah. gold. I'm always too handy. I feel like I don't need another hand for a present. So if we don't want the morning star, what would be the, the morning star that can grow? So, uh, only the first star. It's, it's just, just, just a plain morning star, wasn't it? Just the okay, it's King Grohl's morning star. So Usually the D8 is a D12. Good one or a bad one. Damage or D attack? Just damage. Everything's a d20 per attack. Yeah, it's just a standard two hands. You get seven point five gold pieces for it. Yes. Okay. Does anyone need health potions? Uh, 
I've currently got three, so you're sweet. So I'll give you some numbers if you're ready to take four as well. Hundred gold. Yeah, for the Birkin bottles that we're gonna sell for the Birkin that we're gonna sell. Hundred and eighty gold for the chalice. Yep. And one fifty for the sensor. Yeah, and we've sold all that money, so that's that's a thing of left cash. Uh seven point five for the morning star. Yep, go on. You've now got the gold teeth. Can I ask that? How many? Just a, just a point of clarification: Are they um, false teeth, or are they like coaches' teeth? So they basically grill. So they go in front of his teeth. No. But these teeth are still there; they'll just rotten away. And yeah. punch. Can I ask for eighty gold or help potions? For yep. One for me and one for because <clears throat> we've got that deal of getting them for. for Price forty gold basically. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So eighty gold to minus eighty gold. Yeah. We're now at about thirteen hundred. Perfect. And then we can go on. That's uh, that's all of the stuff I needed to do. Thank you. Okay. Yep. And it's nothing of the health potions worth buying here in Fandalin. Thank you very much. Can I I'd say we did you guys on the session I volunteer go get that jeweled silver totem from the bear the Conneberry the village for the Benjis? Yeah, yeah we did set down there. Okay. It's yeah, that was before we went to the um Necromant Tower. Yeah, I'm not on the way. I keep forgetting to check strike up the game. Yeah. Yeah. I say we head towards the brothers. Yeah. Is Gundren still with us? Yes, yes. He'll be traveling with you to Wave Echo Cave. Say the love guy. Where is Wave Echo Cave? Can Gundren show us on the map where Wave Echo Cave is? He does. He points it out. I'll bring it up on the map for you. Post map. So, Vandalin and Wave Echo Cave. No, oh, it's like just that. It's not far at all. Wave Echo Cave does actually say it was like an hour of the Yeah. On the uh, journey there, Arthur is just playing on her lute as she does, just to make the make the trip a little nicer. Yeah. You rolled an eight on the performance, so it's not her best work. <laughs> Anything else while you're traveling for way back we can? No, just keeping yeah. an eye out, making sure we don't get ambushed. Yeah. Puppies with us. Oh, they're well, always a good thing. Batch with like sticks that are like <laughs> two times your height. Let's face it, we like kept on some fire bones from something we Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay, Gundren Rockseeker takes you off the main path and onto a path that doesn't look like it's been used in a very long time. You eventually make yourself make your way to a cave. So, ah, uh, the entrance. It's just ahead. You need to do anything to it now before we enter. Our camp is just on the inside. I give all, like, all three dogs just, like, I rough them up. <laughs> yep. And you know when you, like, tease dogs, you're just doing this and get mm. them, like, I'm just doing that. So, we have spot inside cave, or should I leave with your outside cave? Mm. My brothers and I made camp just inside. There's enough room in there for them. Yeah. So Zor touches his chest and his scales get bigger and thicker. Okay. As we're walking. Interesting. Make your uh, bikes. Mm. Oh, changing maps. There you go, 
going through the entrance tunnel. Marching order. You want to be in front of me just behind? Yeah, I'll check the traps. So as we're going, checking traps. Yeah. Lots of tables, Kira, Zorg on Gabna, roll that up by Nox and Arca. Yep, yep. Yeah, the back looks lovely. Gundren Rockseeker is picking up the rear and he's pulled out a lantern as well because he can't see in the dark. I think you all can see in the dark. I don't think I can. Oh, when, yeah. when they can't? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, aren't you human? I'm like dream human. I am thing. <laughs> you know, I can't see shit. <laughs> Alright. So, way back okay, just a few things. So, ceilings are 10 feet high unless otherwise notified. Rooms have 20 feet high ceilings, and the cabins are 30 foot high. Uh, doors are 6 foot tall and 4 feet wide. As you're going down this tunnel, you do feel a vibration coming through the floor every two minutes or so. Guess that's the wave echo. Hmm? Guess that's the wave echo. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, that's all you need to know for now. Okay, coming through the entrance. Does this, this um, remind Zor of anything like uh, geysers? Like, does it is it similar? Does it sound similar to like a geyser? Is it you know like the old faithful? Does the water spout? Uh, the echo that you're hearing is some sort of similar. Yeah. Dungeon. Okay. The entrance tunnel leads into a large natural cavern, supported by a pillar of rock. In the western part of the cave, behind the pillar, are three bedrolls and a heap of ordinary supplies, sacks of flour, bags of salt, casks of salted meat, lanterns, flasks of lamp oil, pickaxes, shovels, and other gear. Amid the supplies, the, you see the body of a dwarf, dead for at least a week. The northeastern section of the cavern has collapsed, forming a 10 foot wide, 20 foot deep pit. A sturdy hemp rope is tied around one of the three stalagmites in the cavern and dangles into the pit. Heading in. So the body's down the pit? No, he's just in the camp. No. Um, so that was on the, uh, the western part of the cave behind the pillar, northeast, southwest, up the top here. So you can see. So Master Tibbles is basically. Seen all this as you just entered the room. Gungeons at the back. Yeah. Um, I will make my way over to the dwarf. Okay. Just check if the traps are going. So yep. Like, yeah, make my way over to the dwarf. To check if he's... Medicine check? Yeah. Don't need to roll. He's dead. <laughs> he's <Right>. definitely dead. <laughs> Others moving forward? Yeah. 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 I'll flag Gungeon across to. This this looks like Gundren, like family resemblance. It does look like another dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Does Zor see any obvious injuries, in, like either claw marks or sword marks or anything like that? Are uh, you heading over there too? Yeah. Okay. Arthur just like pops off Rufio and he starts tying off the <laughs> convenient stalagmite that's just near the supplies, etc. Or whatever else there is to tie off a mule's yep. rope to. That'll be the best one, the solid one. Uh, Gundren and Rockseeker walks in and he's seen his brother dead. He's run over. He's like, brother! Runs over, kneels before him. God, and, and he goes quiet. Um, from what you're looking at, it looks like he's got multiple stab wounds. He just kneels there, not moving. He's just holding his brother at the moment. Anything else you'd like to look at in the area? Or say? Um, can I do an investigation check on all the kitchens and stuff? Is there anything yep. loot wires in there? Mm, nothing out of the ordinary, just other than what's listed. It's nothing else. Are there any tracks leading to or from the camp? No, the floor is a stone floor. Can't see any sort of tracks. There's no light coming from around that area? No light. Only light you see is coming from Gundren's lantern. Okay. Saul puts his hand on his shoulder and says, Sorry, we weren't able to make it in time. No, thank you. 
It's you unfortunate. You know what may have befallen your brother? Probably the spider. She's found her way here. She's been tracking you for a while. Mm, they've been finding the location, trying to find the location. Looks like they did. And this is the same spider from the letters. Is that right? Yes, that spider's been fucking up the coast. Yeah. Well, maybe we need to delve a bit deeper and locate this spider to put an end to this issue. Uh, can I have a look over the brother if there's anything like the vent or anything like on top of it as well at the same time? Yep. Uh, the brother's helping you move the body and everything, just laying down. It's like, he won't need that anymore. He takes off his cloak. It's a cloak of protection. You are free to use this. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, right. I'll... Yeah, it would be... Yeah, cloak of protection. Yeah, okay. I, I need to stay here and bury my brother. I will stay at camp. Does Gunman also have a cloak of protection? <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> but uh, if you take care of the spider, I'll increase your percentages of the earnings of the cave to 10%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I just set the three wolves to kind of guard that corner, but also to keep an eye on the entrance. Yep. In case anyone tries to sneak in or out, but they're kind of posting up around Gundren. Okay. And I'm assuming you'll be all as well. Keep them safe. So if we clear the spider, then we'll get 10% of the earnings. So we'll just does a quick sketch of your brother. You see you're doing that, it's like, hmm. may I use that? I'll build something here for him in the future when we take over this place. Uh, Zor then makes another copy, but this time the copy is less of a medical diagram, and it's more of a, <laughs> has a, has a peaceful expression in his face, and he passes that one to the... And maybe pure stat wounds. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Like something like you put in, like, a, take it to a funeral. Yeah. That sort of thing. <laughs> Not something you find in David Chief's lair. And he, your other brother? Mm, not here. Spider's probably taken him. So we put them in the cave. So, so can we search? Alright. Are we ready? Is there anything else we want to do? No, I think that's everything. Um, Nox is going to do mage armor on himself before going in. That's good. all the prep I can, I can do. Yeah, these two characters. Cool. Let's. Anything else anyone else wants to do, or we start? I think that's it. All right. I'm good. Um, what other exits are there for the? I think it was just across the chasm. Yep. Starts the chasm. Uh, the twenty foot deep pit, ten foot wide. Ten foot wide. Yep. Over here. So with a running jump, I can easily clear them. <laughs> I love this. With a running jump. Without a running jump. <laughs> 10 foot of movement, I can clear 24 feet. So I'll take a, some rope. Does someone have rope? Well, there's some rope yeah, So there. there is no other side. Oh, there's no rope. But, um, I'll, may, I'll move your character down there so you can see in the there's pit. Like rope getting down. That's the pit. There's no other side you can jump to, but you do see two caves heading off in the other direction. So it's the black areas, the other ends. I'm sorry, that's the only exit that we can see. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I will scale down. Yep. With the with the rope and the quick ones or whatever needs to to help okay. other people climb down safely. There is a goblin's body slumped in the corner there. You can't see that depicted there. I can't move us down. Jumping down to it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Follow about Nox and I Zorba picked up Nox as a jump. Yep. So we climb down as well. Cool. Everyone's down there. Investigate well, the goblin. Something feels oh, okay. great. Wet. Going into a confined space. Mm. It's 
thumped at the bottom of the pit is the body of a strange goblin with an elongated skull, green streaks on its skin. Inspecting it, it is wearing filthy rags. Uh, that is all. Hmm. Does the streaks look like paint or? Good question. No. So he's one of those, is it, sorry, elongated skull? Is it one yes. of those weird goblins that we've been hearing about? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this the first one we've actually met? That's yes. I was actually saying. Take a sketch. I'll do that, yeah. But we've now got a sketch. <laughs> do you want to take some teeth or something? Does the yeah. green, does the green streaks look luminescent at all or just? Not at this time, no. Just green in colour. Okay, so two ways, look up and down, is that the, yep. which way do we want to go? Any preference? Yep. North? Happy. Yeah, sure. The yeah. north? Yep. I'll lead, looking, keep an eye out for traps. Okay. Mr. Tiggles leads the way. What are you talking about? Uh, basically, it leads into tunnels. You can see the tunnels go in different directions. This area consists of numerous intersecting passages. The ceilings here are only six feet high, and several of the passages... Okay, you wouldn't know that yet. I don't know why it says that. <laughs> I have traps. <laughs> <laughs> um... I thought this was meant to be cave. Why is it Smith? Like someone's cut this. Cut this. Not cave. So they made a cave. What was a cave that was actually Start to investigate. Uh, Labyrinth rules, stick to your left. Yeah, stick to maybe hand on the left and follow it around. Yeah. Left? Yeah. Um, do you want me to kind of you want to hold the, um, the breach point and I'll just do a quick rush up and yep. see what and then come back if necessary. Easy. So I'll go towards the next Athena section and see what I can see. Basically two dead ends. Two dead ends. Okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, go back to the party. Checking out for traps at the same time. Go the other way. This way? Yeah. So uh, no, back the other way to the right. To so the right. The dead ends, do they look intentional or do they look like collapsed? Looks like they're caved in. Okay, so then we've got a dead end and a, a bit of a way up the front. Okay. If we were going to keep your hand on the left wall, wouldn't you have gone okay, north? Okay, straight. Yeah, okay, so yeah, go, <laughs> go north. Sorry. Yeah, I thought that. No, no, that's right. Okay. You can see another dead end to your left, but it continues on straight. All right, so if you want to come in and join, and we'll go, go that way. Take another breach point and I'll do another quick check up a bit further. So it leads in further or goes more north? Okay, keep going north. Keep, keep going north then. And we'll move into like this T intersection here. Yeah. Keep, keep clustered together so that in case you need to fire and stuff. <laughs> left uh, first? Yeah, let's go left. Yeah, it leads to another dead end. Okay, so go back and go right then, further up and to the north. Okay. Where? So it looks like it's come out somewhere. Right, we'll follow that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My bad. <laughs> okay. A still pool fills much of this cabin. The water is dark, revealing little of what might lie within. The shore of the pool consists of a thin layer of broken shells from strange, pale mussels. A fishy odour hangs in the air. The passage leads south, which you're coming through, and a set of steps climbs to the east. A sluggish stream flows from the cave to the northeast. So the stairs are there. You just see them on the corner there. The northeast is where the stream's flowing out. Do we want to explore the rest of the tunnels first, or do we want to go upstairs? I don't know. Have the other brothers alive? We've got to go as fast as we can. Keep them going. Straight. Maybe keep to the right away from the water. 
can investigate anything in the water. It's extremely dark. You cannot see more than a foot into the water. Is the is the steel ceiling still ten feet above us? Or uh, in this cabin, it's thirty, I believe. Okay. Towards the stairs, is that what you got? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much the intention. I mean, feel free to move. Just moving up towards the stairs. Okay, so you got a dead end to your south, there's a door on your east, and north has stairs heading up. Try to run there. Alright, press second door back. Up stairs. Yeah. Door suspicious? There's a store in front of us. Are we suspicious? Can we get open and see if there's anything? Wanna have a look there? No. Maybe get a few like in the breach point and just have ready and I'll open the door and step inside and see what's Can you move the party up into the hallway please DM? Just put me at the door and I'll... You, you maybe kind of keep at that point then, because then yeah. if something comes down from here, mm -hmm. you can protect the spellcasters. If something comes down from here, you can also protect the spellcasters. Yeah. GM mode, that's why I can't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Arca at the back, just on the stairs. Um, Arca's actually going to go forward to the door, please. On the door. Right. I'm opening. I'm checking for traps for the door. And then I'll open the door. No traps, and the door is locked. Uh, kick the door. Yep. Give us a roll. Oh yeah. What's what's the roll for? Good question. Usually it's decks. What's the straight decks? Unless you're proficient in his. I do have I'm proficient in um, what we're doing. So it's a dex, it's essentially any, any of your other skills. So dex plus proficiency. Yep. Okay. So, so dex plus my proficiency and proficiency and that's my two. Proficiency. Um, plus four. Um, if you go to any of your, if you go to the skills page, the number you've got for any deck skills you're proficient in is going to be the same as deck plus proficiency. Oh, okay. Because that's how that works. Dex skills, okay, that one. So it's 14. 14, excellent. Hit. Okay. Slide the door open quietly. As quietly as possible. Just look into the room. Okay. Old stone bunks line the walls of these quarters, which are lit and heated by a glowing iron brazier. In the middle of the room, six bugbears, including one who is larger than the others, lounge in the room, grumbling about their hunger. <laughs> and they see Master Tibbles at the door with the room open. Roll for initiative. If I get a good initiative, this is going to be hilarious. I did not get a good initiative. Oh, I'm not good at this. Uh, it's all gone, Governor. Also, give us a perception. Perception roll? Yep. So, I got a 10. I got an 8. Uh, I'm going to nod. Nox is on a 5. Nox <laughs> is on a 5. Yeah. So, 8 for Arca, was it? Yes. Eight for Zogon Governor as well. Uh, nine for Zogon. Master Tibbles. Starting. Uh, what was your perception roll? So I'm just doing that. Perception. Got a... 19. 
19. Excellent. You hear slithering sounds behind you. As you look around, you see this giant constrictor creeping up on you. Ah. Hold on, Governor. Jumps, jumps up in the air, startled, and then comes back down and startled. Okay, starting initiative. Master Tibbles, you're up. Sorry, where were you on the initiative? Were you right behind me? Or... Uh, a couple later, depends on where the bugbears are, but... Um, all on their beds. Just land around. Welcome. Yeah, gonna go in and start swinging. Alright, um... I'm gonna go down south and put myself in between two of the bugbears and start swinging at one. So... Uh, the, that one to hit, 4 plus 6, 10 to hit, I assume doesn't hit. 10 doesn't hit. Okay, then I'll do an unarmed attack to hit, which is a 7 plus 6 is 13 to hit. 13 does not hit. Okay, yeah. uh, and then I'll stay in between and I'll hit the first. Yep. Come and get me! That's my round. Solid. Okay. Everyone rolled pretty low, didn't they? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. I'd nine. rather use that for initiative than for to roll it really nice. Yeah. Even the bugbears did so. Uh the constrictor snake's going next. It's creeping this day out. Okay, it goes to constrict uh, Zorbon Governor. 14 to hit. Uh, this is, yes. Okay, Kiara. I'm just gonna mosey on in up to this guy. Pop my rage. Tail is gonna flick out. And I'm just, he's just lounging here. He's just laying down. Does that count as prone? Uh, not prone anymore. They saw him coming in, so. Well, I'm just gonna yeah, take a swing at him with my axe. That's not bad. 21 to hit. 21 hits. And 14 plus a 16, because I don't think adds my mate. I don't rage. Yeah, so 16 damage. Done. He is not looking good after that. That's what I want. I don't want to look good. Governor. Zorbon Governor tries to snap at the, the boa constrictor. Mm-hmm. So that would be a... Be a lemon hit. Eleven does not hit. And see the two of the Zulus go. Yeah. Aka. Aka is like prepared to run in and deal with the bugbears, and then he has some very bad times behind us. Like, uh, okay, we're dealing with this then, and comes over to the uh, top of the stairs and might just start off with a fire bolt. Fitting out a nice little packet of dragon breath. Well, to hit, which I think. Four hits. Totally. Uh, three points of fire damage. Yep. And that's about it. Bugbear next to Master Tibbles. Goes to use his Morning Star on you. Yep. 16 to hit. Does not hit. That's him done. Uh, the one that's next to Kira. 
This one's a morning star. Twelve to hit? No. Thirty, and this one moves up on Q. Twelve to hit? No. Knox. Uh, Knox, seeing the thing behind, is going to focus on the boa constrictor and is going to cast Eldritch Blast on the boa constrictor. Mm -hmm. Plus eight is twenty two. And the thing that is behind it is going to be the next level is The Tibbles, this one's the morning star. 17 to hit. Oh, 17 does not hit. Another <laughs> bugbear on you. Bob piercing damage. Because I'm raging around the sticks. Nice tippers. Uh, with one and then with the other with the stools. She has time to strike out. Two got a success reaction if I've got something. Everyone's not hitting anyone down there. <laughs> Rick Zorbon Gavner again. 23 to hit. That hits. You are constricted. You are grappled and restrained. It does 15 bludgeoning damage. And it bites you for 15 damage. 30 total damage. Jesus. The aura. Alright, I just look down at this guy that already took a swing out. I'm just gonna take another swing at him. I need to start taking out the holes. Twenty three to hit. Bad. I don't know. It's eleven points of slashing damage. Oh wait, that's strong. <laughs> and I just. I'm going to stay within his range, but I'm going to move down just to there. Mm -hmm. And that may. Okay. So I'm on Gavna. Is it a bonus action or action for the My action turn, or does that have to be a bonus action to live while well, check? It has to be. Mm. What circle are you? Uh, moon. I think it's a moon, you do a bonus action. Check. Yeah, well, I mean, like, if I drop the wild check, with the bonus action, can I still wild check again with the action? Or... 
So it's normally an action to drop the chain. There's a Reddit on this exactly. <laughs> Moon Druid overrides, it can't have both options, so the only way is not to pick Moon Druid if you yeah. do that sort of thing. Uh, in that case, I'll just try and struggle out of the strength. Yep. Is, it, is that like a strength That's check? a strength save. A strength save. Oh, check. Give me a check. This thing, it says it on it. What are you, are you flying at the bugbears or are you flying at the bugbears? I'm stripped Last one I went yeah, at the Charles and stripped uh, They're not currently good enough for me to do anything interesting to the bugbears. Yeah, that fails. Right. We can deal with the bugbears if they deal with the same. Parker. Um, I'll, oh, as, sorry. as a bonus action, yep. I'll try and heal some fun. Like a hole in one. Like, just like, yeah. Um, take crowds. Well, no one's hitting anyone down there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all <laughs> You focus on the bog constrictor. I see no, I'll leave it. That's the end of my round. Okay. okay. So, seeing that things are going not super great with the bog constrictor, Arca's gonna kind of get down on all fours and spit more fire at it than usual this time. Um, as three bursts of flame come out and race towards so that's Scorching Ray. Mm. With damage rolls, uh, attack rolls of six, so sixteen, uh, twenty four, and twelve. All hit. So that. First bolt is three fire damage. Second bolt is nine fire damage. Third bolt is three. That's done. Fifteen total. Not exactly looking healthy after that. Bit singed. Okay. Well done, Arkham. Hey, this one's hitting Master Tibbles with a morning star. Hit me trying. Trying. They're trying. Twenty four to hit. <laughs> no, we stay that. Yeah, I know. That that hits me. <laughs> For eleven piercing damage. Dead. Um, he is a next to Kyo. Morning Star. 16 to hit. Doesn't hit. Yeah. Is that yeah. me? You're yeah. oh, that's that's Normally it would, but I am going to use my reaction tail. Yep. And because I'm out plus 15, and it's 16 to hit, I just say I don't have to roll for it because there's no yeah. way it's going No matter hit. what, it's blocked. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, um, Nox. Uh, Nox is going to look at Bell Constrictor and Eldritch Blast. The Bell Constrictor. Can I just blast? I'm just going to blast it. Or oh, I'm going to re roll that based on this talisman of something or other. <laughs> so 13 plus 8 is uh, 21 to hit. Hits. And 2 plus 5 is 7 damage. 7 damage. Okay. This one's a bugbear's attacking must do this. 20 to hit. Uh, my reaction, I hit the stuff that comes down to the ground and it implodes around me and I'm safe. So it doesn't hit me. D, this one's also attacking must do this. Let's see, this can 23. That's what hit. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That stuff has shield in it. It's got like, it's like a, yeah, it's a shield. This one comes forward to Five. hit with a morning star on Kia. Yeah, sure. 15 to hit. Doesn't hit, does it? 
What is it, 15 to hit? 15. Yeah, no, that hits, because the mm -hmm. tail thing only counts for that one. Right, okay. Morning star. Ten piercing damage. Master tips. Okay, I'm gonna hit and hit and hit again. Trying to trying to hit as many times as I can. Uh, finally, no, that's of course it's ten, so that doesn't hit. And my armed attack. It's so eight. No, it doesn't hit. I can't hit this shit. You shouldn't. I can't hit this shit. You are keeping lots of busy though. Yeah. yeah. Good tank. <laughs> okay. Up to the constrictor. It's going to constrict Dorbon Governor. 14 to hit. Um, that. Oh, you're already constricted. Yeah, I'm already. Is that... The damage yeah. is 19 bludgeoning. Yeah. Yeah. So it's your. Pops back into normal shape. Yeah, that I'm constricted because suddenly he's a completely different size. Yeah, he's still around him, technically. <laughs> he's just loose at the moment. So you could probably move at him pretty easily, I suppose. Um, and he lunges forward to bite Knox as well. Okay. 11 to hit Knox. Uh, 11 to hit doesn't hit. Just question, can I use Hellish Rebuke on that? And it has to hit. She's being damaged by it. Yeah, I can't yeah, do that. Damage. Cool. Kiara. I uh, take a swing at the man in front of me, but what I'm really good at. <laughs> 23. Yes. Nine points of damage. Mm -hmm. Better hold up into it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not waiting for the time to fight someone to run. Zorvan Governor. Zorvan Governor takes the opportunity, now that he's a smaller size, quickly dash out of the way. Yep. <laughs> Try and escape from the. Constriction. Mm hmm. Would this be a damage or would it be a lower DC? Technically, you already broke in the constriction, the way I see it. Uh, if I can... anything, it's difficult to rain to get around the stuff there. Oh, I quickly make some distance. Yep. And then. Technically, the snake's like here at the moment. Oh, yeah, because there's also. The attack knocks as well, so. Uh. And it hasn't used its reaction yet. Um, so I'll, I'll still be close enough so I don't get the attack opportunity. No, yeah. Which way are you headed? Uh, probably I'll try and circle around some on the other side of whoever's next to me. Other side, not so that way. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Haven't half the map like it. Shouldn't be there. wonder why. All players. Roll 20 does not want to hit him. Yeah, Puts it only it wants to show us one level at a time. Instead of things that jump out. I don't know why it's not showing. There's not some roll out of their tokens. Should. Dynamic lighting. Vision on. Vision's on, it's on all players, and I've got stars on there as well, which is mine. It's on my profile, technically, so. Let's see if I can make you a bit more. Change that. Ah, night vision, because it's pitch black. There we go. Knox didn't have as much. No, Zorvan Governor's got an ambition. I don't know. 
At least you can see now. Where were we? It's all about Governor's done. It's Arcus. Um, how is the snack looking at this point? Not too healthy. You're very singed from the last fire attacks. One step back through the door because this thing is getting weirdly close. And uh, spits a wobbling ball of weird magic at it with chaos bombs. Mm. A 17 to hit. Hits. 2d8 and 1d6. Twelve points of uh, force damage. Yep. But no uh, air assault nonsense this time. And I think that should be it. Okay. A bugbear that's next to Master Dibbles. Now swing again. It didn't work last time, so we'll try again. But... <laughs> um, one on Kiara. Morning staff, uh, 19 to hit. I'm going to roll my D8, see what I can do. Yeah. Oh, eight for that. That's 23 my eight there for that attack. Nice. Got blocked. Knox. Knox will do a Eldritch Blast. I go up and strip block. Uh Nat 20. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, what is it? It's double the dice and then plus the yeah. thing. Cool. So plus this twice two. Plus, oh that's a ten and that's it. So it's eleven plus five sixteen damage. Thank you very much to the bow constrictor. Cool. It hits the bow constrictor. Wait, sixteen? What, what was on the D ten? So I got because it's two D tens. So I got a the nat twenty. So double the dice. You rolled so I rolled a ten and a okay, one. Sorry. And then I plus five, so sixteen damage. So I didn't realise you were rolling double dice rather than doubling the dice up my uh, is that... As long as you're all doing the same thing. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. yeah. Probably... I was just wondering how you doubled the 10 that you rolled with yeah. a number like 20. Yeah. Oh, you hit it, it flails around and stops moving dead. So Nox glows a little bit bluey purpley and something happens that I'll figure out later. <laughs> so, Bugbear swinging a morning star at Master Tibbles. Swing Score on. 24 to hit. Oof. Nat 20. Oof. Um, 24 to hit? Mm. Yeah. Rip damage. 16 piercing damage. Yeah. One's on Master Tibbles as well. Morning star. Yep. That does not hit. This one's on here. 17 to hit. Sure. 11 piercing damage. That's 5. So it goes down. Yeah. Back to Master Tibbles. Hopefully, you can hit someone. Hopefully, you can hit someone. Um, Let's try the hit with the stuff defense. Fifteen to hit. Where are they? It does not hit. That's <laughs> no, a nine to hit. That doesn't hit. It's tickles with this screaming internal rage at being unable to hit. Yes. Tiara. 
Feel like the one I've already swung at, and I just take another swing. <laughs> That's a nine. That's in here. Alright, so Von Gunner. So Von Gunner runs into your room. Well, if you put down the train. Yeah. And then it takes a flying spear bite at the legs of the closest bugbear who's being engaged. Yep. Uh, so that's 23 to hit. Hits. Yeah. You're probably wondering where he's been all this time. <laughs> where have you been? <laughs> One. Uh, so that's five. Piercing damage. Five piercing, yep. Let's see the tool goes. So, seeing that the snake is finally not doing anything, mm. Arka does a quick check around the room and then runs to that spot, uh, to south of Kira, surrounded by three of them. And then crouches down and kind of snaps her jaws in a way that just echoes in this huge wave <laughs> of force. So that's on save 14 from the three around me from Thunderwave. Nice. And if they fail, it's six. Thunder damage and push 10 feet away from me. They all roll below 10, I'm assuming it's fail. Yep, DC was 14, so 10 feet. Thunder damage and push 10 feet away from me, which might involve walls. Or two walls. Two walls. Yeah. What happens if they hit a wall? Uh, yeah, <laughs> not specified. <laughs> yeah. And what was the total damage? Uh, six to each of them. And yeah, that the sound of that is audible out to 300 feet. Ah. <laughs> okay, done. Is that 300 feet, was it? Audible to 300 feet, yeah. Thunderwave is not joking around. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Mr. Jones. Point start, thank you. Bring it on. 22 to hit. Uh, shield against that, so that misses. Yep. The E is on Kiara. Yep, that's one on the top. Uh, Bolt to hit. Uh, Nox. Nox will come into the room. Seeing two bugbears down below, we'll decide to do the open blast <laughs> down that way. Seventeen to hit. Yes. Tibbles. 24 to hit. And that, that 20 again. Oh, oh, oh. That definitely hits the snake going down the hills. Stop beating. Uh, 22 piercing damage. I've seen Nox come into the room. Oh, it's that Zorvon Gardner's closer. Zorvon Gardner. Yeah, Zorvon Gardner. Uh, Nox. Uh, 
another nat 20. That's, that's just absurd. Is it broken? I'm going to refresh the page. That's three nat 20s. <laughs> that is. <hits. laughs> Alright, well, that's us roll that again. Wow. It's an 18 this time. Jeez. So let's. 11 piercing damage. Moves up to attack Arca. Seven to hit. Ah, uh, no. Stibbles. Good save. Good save. <laughs> Fail. Four. Diara. I'm swinging. So close. It's a 19 for 25 to hit. It's. Um, taking 11 plus 2, 13 points of damage. It is looking near death. Barely held. And that's me. Dolbon Governor. Anyone next to the post is Ogre? Which one, sorry? Is anyone close to... It's within five feet of them. Yeah. Oh, oh, damn. Not close. Yes. Uh, that is a good hit. Hits. It is... Thirteen piercing damage. Well, on the last legs as well, barely holding on. Bleeding for a few seconds on that. Arca. So, uh, seeing Mark Stibbles go down, Arca's gonna head over one spot to the left. Yeah. Junior attack. Yep. Don't have 15 feet. Ooh. Oh. I think they had reach, so they had 15 feet. Reach, 5 feet. Yep, they're still in. Oh, ah, so I've not actually left the right. No, you're yeah, so on. So, first thing is that Arca lets out the most offended draconic cry that you've ever heard which is bonus action and all enemies within 10 feet of me which is everyone but kira but one by yeah. mate uh until the start of my next turn me and allies have advantage on attack rolls if they can hear me okay and then i am going to turn to the <coughs> Fall and kick out and bring out an interesting little mini draconic myth, which is uh, five points of healing. Mark Tibbles. Thank you so much. Sorry, right, Mister. What was the effect on the bugbears? Um, everybody gets advantage on attack roll oh. against them until the start of my next turn. Next. That's going to be handy. Okay. Thank you very much. The bugbear next to you has realised you're not dead. He's going to hit you with his mark star. Oh. Nat 20. That does not feel real. It's not right. It's just way too many nat 20, so I'm resetting it again. <laughs> Four tonight, and within the one battle, it's just not and three there. on me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another nat 20. We're gonna refresh the browser. I think they just don't want you to live. <laughs> Would you like to borrow some actual dice? I don't have to. <laughs> oh god, it's a nat 20. <laughs> it's a <nat> 20. <laughs> it's a 14. <laughs> so that'll be 18 to hit. Uh, my staff goes down and it doesn't. It's just you, so. <laughs> um, okay, bugbear E is attacking Kiara. Fourteen to hit. Misses. Knox. Knox. We'll, we'll look at those two that are lined up down the bottom there. Doesn't have any big go between, but we'll do an Eldritch Blast down that way. Oh, with advantage as well, so that's great. Uh, 
Uh, that plus eight gives me 13 to hit. That's not bad. Kabam, it was just near. Yeah, the last one was below that. It's uh, right now. Right here. Right here. This one's attacking Arkham. Fifteen to hit. Nope. This one's attacking Zoltan Gardner. Twenty-three to hit. Hits. Four seven piercing damage. Yep. Moves in to hit Arthur. Fifteen to hit. No. Nope. The top, the Master Tibbles, still standing. And now, so now I've got an advantage to hit. Yes. Arthur <laughs> Flurry Boy. Attacks. Key point to turn your bonus action attack into attacks. Enough. Yeah, right. I'll do that. This is a bonus action. Yeah, which, yeah, flurry of blows is instead of your one free unarmed attack, you get two. So I'm going to hit it by 18 or 24. 24 to hit. 24 hits. Hitting the one in the corner. Six. And then six damage. Seventeen plus twenty-three or yeah. natural twenty. So I'm gonna take the natural twenty. Yes. So I'll roll this one, one D four plus four on this one, Which is nine damage to that one as well. Done. And then I've got another attack with fire of blows. So that one's still standing. Just and I will Again, for an 18 or yep. hits the one to so the 18 is the one that hits, and then that comes in at five damage to that one again. How do you kill him? Just an uppercut to the chin. That's not going to go well. Right. Master Tibbles, Kiara. I swing at him. That does not hit. Down for one. Down for one. And that's me. Yeah. That's all I can do. Zolvon Gabner. That is 14 to hit. That was not hit. Um. That's him. That's it. Also use the wall check healing to heal a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll let this hit him one Ah. Kind of all in the thick of it now, which is getting it. Um, Parker looks around at the annoying sort of surrounding concentration. It's steps down between the two bugbears. Uh, yeah. And then collects her jaws at them <coughs> and lets loose another. Thunder wave. Yep. So that is one save from each of them. Uh, 16 and a 21. Okay, so they both save and only take five of each. Five thunder. What's he doing? <laughs> uh, something on the bench. Investigating, 
you just did. <laughs> you One is tapping here. Still got twenty to hit. Twenty. Ah, uh, let me. That's all piercing damage. Knocks. Nearly dead. One on each side and one on each side. It's nearly dead. Um, uh, okay. So you can say the one to the. These two down the bottom are good, but that one's near death. And the one that's straight down the bottom. Right south of it. Yep. Just near it. Oh, which one's this? That one over here is near it. Yeah, that one. That one? Yep. Well, that one. Uh, and we'll do a uh, next. Which is a. Oh, it was an advantage? Or? No, just one turn. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, <laughs> that's fine. Sorry. I don't know what I rolled now. <laughs> Re roll. <laughs> has a morning star coming towards us. Perfect. Yeah. 16 to hit. Doesn't hit. That marker. 17 to hit. Uh, spectral wing, uh, spectral dragon wing comes about and blocks the attack instead. Yep. Pass the tibbles. Back to my turn. All right. Uh, Lightning advantage. Twenty-two. Thank you very much for the reminder. Um, I will hit the one that is between us. Uh, mm -hmm. That one. So do I get an advantage? It's like I get mm -hmm. to re-roll it, don't I? So, I'll take so I'll take you eighteen. Thank eighteen you minutes. And then I get get a sneaky little one of these. Oh, sorry, uh, wrong thing. Ignore that. That's just popped up. That's what I need to do. Plus one, so uh, nine damage. Nine damage. Another hit, which also has advantage. Seventeen. Seventeen hits. Then that's another five damage. Between us. Looking near death. Um, Kiara. I am going <laughs> to bang at him. Natural 20. Oh, I like that. I like a dragon kind of comes across the screen and <laughs> eats the dice. Sixteen, eighteen damage. Overkill. And then I'm gonna shuffle down one square. So let me get back there. Mm -hmm. And that's me. Okay. Sawbone Governor. Take a bite out of the closest one. Which uh, yeah, you got a choice. Tom. Yeah. Your B and F. You know, I've got two that bugbears left. They're both the same to us. Yeah. Um there's one South of me, right? Yep. yep. So I'll go for that one. And it is that 20. Hits. Yeah, Maybe it should take in those 20 levels. <laughs> 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 
3 9 damage and it's double that one. Double the bits on the dice. Yeah. So that was so not the bonus that you add on top of it. No. So 12 plus 3. 15. Mm -hmm. Yep. Excellent. How do you kill it? <laughs> it's still it's busy with the other person, right? Yeah. Um I'll 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 I'll, tr I'll grab it a bite of its belt and then as I'm as Zor's biting its belt, we will just swing it round and slam him into the wall. Nice. Hey, Arka. Arka's gone from having a very bad time of being almost completely surrounded. It's just well that one's gone. That one's gone. <laughs> that one's gone. Yeah. Um there's one left and she just kinda lunges at his ankles and bites him with the uh teeth flaring with electricity. Is it a armor on? I get a match flanking anyway because you just moved out. Uh sure. Uh, 16 hits. 7 points of lightning damage. Yep. Uh, and I think that'll do me. Still standing. Oh, oh no. no. Nox. Nox is Elden Blast ammo. Is it still advantage or? No. No. Uh, that is 25 to hit. Hit. That is 3 plus that one, so it's 8 damage. Thank you very much. He is still standing. He doesn't look like he knows what's going on, but he knows he's got a morning star in his hand and he's going to hit Arco with it. <laughs> uh, 10 to hit. He's not going to hit Arco. <laughs> Master Tibbles. Master Tibbles is going to move forward into just, yes, yeah, slightly forward. Has a bit. Everyone's points. So, let's see, 22 or yeah, 22, so we can stick it. That is 9 plus. Nine plus 5 is 14 damage. Do I need to keep on rolling? No. Okay. That's not the kill. There's one one health. <laughs> End combat. Yoop. There's a lot of red on the board. <laughs> a lot of red. I think Arthur's probably just kind of covered in it being like low down and in the splash zone for the last few of those. How are you looking? Did you get hit? Arthur no. didn't get hit. You didn't get hit. Did you get hit? He did, but only in dying. So you're you have okay, so it's us two that are Yeah. Do we oh, I have a bit of overplay. Oh did you? Yeah. So I'm currently on nine health at the moment. Yeah. Do we okay. need a... Look around like yeah. uh anyone need healing magics or we do healing potions or well, do we want a short rest or do we want to Well I'm just thinking with the uh underway they know we're here so if you because yeah, you know thank you we're being, we can heal you guys all along with a like, short rest we don't want to rest they might try and run away okay so, so healing potions healing potions well we know you'll die we'll put cave entrance in case anything yeah but i don't want that destroy <laughs> oh, okay also it might be back entrance that they sneak out from yeah. Yeah, okay um, so healing potions is the way we're going i think so so it's just regular healing potions we have, right? It is, because that's all that we could afford. Can do a little bit of healing magics if people need, but it means can do less in the next fight. I I should be fine. I'm really hard. I'm... I can't really. So do you need four plus four for a regular heal? Oh, I have to risk it. Because we've got a nice one check, so I need to stay in one check. Ah. Uh, I mean, you can keep on going on. I'll attempt to use my regeneration a lot. Yeah, I'll risk it. I've got a little bit of somewhat healing that I can do. Should be fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to cover two location six. Okay, so that makes me feel better. But I'm down two healing bars. So that's a bit worth one. Yeah, I've got three healing potions and. How do you feel about giving me one of your healing bows? How are you looking at this point? Twenty-five out of thirty-one. <laughs> Just trying to get as much healing as possible as up, so that I can take some damage, <laughs> or you do some cool stuff. Thirty. Well, let's all close our head in the next room. I'm the we're facing. It's all right. Yeah, right. part of the plan is why I will give me a healing potion so I can get you another one. Yeah, part of the plan with me stockpiling them uh, is being the one who can yeah. pour it down <laughs> your throat when you're down. Nothing is your back. I'm good with medicine. Sweet. I'm on 36 in Dargle Forms and 9 in Normal Forms. I'm on 23, but I can. Do you need to If I rage and bite someone, I'll get 2 health every time I'm under 23. So I might just. Bite people. Bite people. <laughs> so it would depend on what we're fighting. Meanwhile, I'm on 22. Do we want to bite bunk bears? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you bite the bunk bear corpse. I can we search the bug bear corpses if there's anything cool like healing potions in it. Oh, we start looking at W already. How we not noticed a giant snake on the way past? Because <laughs> I mean, I'm really having up partly having up as the people who didn't see the snake. Yeah, I don't have dark vision, don't look at me. It's got my passive perception, it's like you're green and I didn't see it. takes a close look at the snake and see, like, sees how big it is and mm. all that. And he says, that he, does it look like it was uh, native to this area, like an aquatic boa constrictor or anything yeah, like that? It's fuck off snake. Mm. It's it's nearly nearly you can turn into a snake, though. Oh, it's, yeah. If it's level like two or under, you can. Yeah, what's it say? I read uh, I think it's. One and another at the moment. I think it upgrades, but I'll have to check. But you've seen a bow constrictor now, yeah. so you can... I should be able to turn into it. This thing was a CR2. He can turn into a giant bow constrictor. Yeah, you find it back from the largest bugbear in the room. Yeah. It has 15 copper pieces, 13 of the EPs. I always forget what that name is. Okay. Two agates, worth 10 gold pieces each. So two agates. Mm -hmm. And a potion of healing. I might nick that and use that. So 15 gold. For two of them. Well, it's a challenge for adding one quarter. So 10. Yeah, 10. 10. What, what were the points again? 15 CP and 13 EP. And I'm nabbing the potion and using it now. Yeah. You want me to add the agate for my loose? Or? Yeah. Yeah, just like if you want to put them down or whatever. Mm -hmm. So a normal potion's 2d4 plus 2, is that correct? Yes, 2d4 plus 4, this one is 7. Yeah. Um, Does it? It should be 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. Oh. i look at this inventory item here. Yeah. Let's have a look, potion of healing, 2d4 plus 2. Five, six, oh. seven. Is it plus 4 on that one? No, no, it's plus 2. I, I, followed, okay. I followed what was on this. I followed what was on this. I didn't. Is, is this the right stat block for the constrictor? Oh, no, not not the one that you fought. Yeah. One that you fought is a giant constrictor snake. Oh, that's probably it. Mm -hmm. Giant yeah. beast. There's constrictor snake, and then underneath the two slots down is a giant constrictor yeah. snake. <laughs> yeah, but I was wondering because that one's max damage was one d eight mm. plus two. So that that potion is gone. This one's two d eight yeah. plus four. I always got that. Make me a little bit happier. Yeah, you can do CR2 at level 6. Can I use the circle of the moon so you can do it? That's the circle of the moon stats. Um, normal, uh, you get CR1 at level 8. Doesn't, I thought the circle of the moon was once you take the circle, you can go up to CR2 at 3. CR1. No. Hmm? There you go. Which 
blows normal through it down the water. It's like CR yeah. one at second and CR two at six instead of CR one quarter at second. Yeah. CR half at four. I don't know. How are we feeling about what we're doing? We're all sitting pretty now. Yep. Yeah. All right. So do we want to keep on looking at other rooms? Yeah. So we forward like interesting door up there. So we want to go, we've either got to go right, or we know that there's another door. There's a stairway heading There's up. a stairway further north that we've well, gone. Well, we know that behind this door, if there was something to attack us, probably would have come through. Would have already, yeah. Alright, so we want to check that door. Yeah, just try to cut through this thing. Right, go ahead. Any tasties. Check, check the locks, uh, check the traps and... Lock and... It is all. locked. So I'll try to pick it. Figure out how to do that again. Uh, I've got that one there, so. I'm just quietly using sexification to clean off some of the. It's now open. It's now open. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See anything in there? Do you look at this flash? Yes, you do. Ooh. Oh, that looks dramatic. Okay, so looking into the room, a blast furnace and a mechanical bellows powered by a water wheel dominate this large chamber. The furnace is cold and dark, but heaps of coal are piled nearby, along with carts full of unrefined ore. The water wheel sits in a 10-foot wide channel cut into the floor of the room, but the channel is dry. Passages exit to the west, south and east, which you can't really see from where you are yet anyways. Uh, the empty channel exists to the north and east. You do see a zombie. So like they're starting to stand up and they're looking at you now. Hmm. We see John Zombie. What do we want to do? Does it feel like fighting more? I kind of point us forward, just looking at this zombie, not getting too close, but just kind of looking at it curiously. Well, I mean, we are. I don't know why that's on the GM line. There he is. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we are looking for a forward jump. We? Like, we know that. That's way. Way back caves? Like it's some, they refer to as a forge or something like that before. Yeah, isn't there a forge that we've been told about? That after revenge host Lost Mine is what it was. They have found the Lost Mine, I don't know. But Way Back Cave was a Lost Mine. The zombie doesn't look dwarven, does it? And you know, kind of familial resemblance. Yes, it does. It looks like a dwarf. Does it have a kind of familial resemblance to anyone we know? Not really, no. The skin's yeah, rotting away. There's not much left of it. It's just... Okay. Looks like it's been there a long time. Okay. Yeah, so Arca just kind of stops at like 15 feet from it, just looking <clears> at <throat> it, seeing what it's doing. It's come towards us? No, but it's just looking. It is looking in your direction. Moaning? No, not doing anything at the moment. Standing there. Can we... Hello! Can we... No response. Hello, friend. What do we feel? Just want to go for it and just smack it. Alright, so move in. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to walk at him. Alright. Roll for initiative. Can I get like a surprise attack if I'm right? Mm. He was ready for you. Look at this Yeah, I walked straight up to it. Uh, 17. 17 for Arca. 15 for no Zul. Nox is 20. Ooh, and just 20. Uh, it must do with something else. I can't remember. For some reason it's disappeared. Maybe it updates to. Because I can't see what does the roll. Has it come up? No, I don't must do this. Uh, it's 12. 12? Smart. Add my dark up again. Yes. Yeah, I got eight, so I ain't doing shit. You happen to know. Okay, Nox is up first. Nox spent the second hundred gold. The ring? It was the vial. Hmm. I think it was the vial and a um, ring, or just the vial? Right, I can get that one. Wouldn't have been a vial, that's so. Like her talisman thingy, maybe the blood vial. That's a sorcerer thing. 
You wouldn't well, think they got like the war equivalent of the pack take on, yeah. Yeah, that thing. Ah, they did get I guess, yeah. Which is the plus one weapon for cut stuff. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. So it has been done. We spent seven hundred on the dollars. Or money to thank you. Uh I think the money dot got... double check, but I think that's Who's turn was it? Oh, we have two DMs. Oh, Nox, you got. Uh, last. Yeah, uh, we'll go into the room. So, it has visibility down the stairs. And we'd like visibility down the stairs. Vision's on. Cool, nothing's coming down the stairs. Let's go to the north end, just anyway. So that's like one, one square up. Yep. And he's going to do a blast straight down onto that one that's currently oh. right in front of Kiara. And we'll do that. Actually, I'm actually going to do this. Does Kiara have vision switched on, by the way? No. Oh, no. no, 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 vision. no, no, no vision. Uh, 19 plus 8 is too much. That's in there. And that is 8 plus 5 is 13 damage to that thing right in front of Kira. 13 damage. Yep, done. Okay. So before we went into the fight, Arco had moved up to like 15 feet from it. Yep. Um, can I see any others so from there? So on the other side. Yeah, on the other side you see another one, but yeah, you can see. So I think I lose my feet like another two. Two more steps forward? Yeah. Sorry, I can't do roll 20 because it hates tablets. I still like it. Um, but yeah, uh, I think Arco just kind of spits a little ball of fire towards the first zombie we've got there, mm -hmm. and it just lands at the zombie's feet and just blossoms into a bonfire. Uh, dex save from the zombie? Dex. 14. Uh, Meat defeats it, so it's... No damage from emergency because it managed, apparently manages to just dodge out of the way, but the fire remains there. Great bonfire. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, and anything flammable in its space isn't being worn or carried is on fire. Makes sense. All right. So, for some reason, this, this guy's moving forward. Just see him move forward. Isn't that? Okay, cool. So, oh, cool. yeah, that one just there, it's not real. I cannot touch it, I cannot move it, and something's wrong with it. Yeah. So, okay. this one is the one that was standing there that I'm moving now. Does that ah. make sense? Cool. Oh. Yeah. Not the tiny circle, two spaces. 15, 20. Difficult to run, he got stuck getting over that. Zombie trying to parkour. Yeah. Yeah. Morning. Yeah. 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 And tries to take a bite of it. Mm. Plus 
Master Tibbles. Common and hot. Um, so we've got one in front, one by the purse, one up high. Yes. Right. Going to roofs like 20 out high or something like that. Like it's about 30 feet in this one, I think. 30 feet. Yeah. Um, can I get on the other side to the east of uh, the Drunken Governor? Hitting the one that's right in front of me. Yep. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's just fine. Cool. Yeah. That's the one I'm hitting. Straight in front. Hopefully. What's that not? Uh, it's 15 to hit. Not coming through, but it's 15. 15 hits? Yeah, perfect. That's 5 plus 9 damage. That's crazy. That's fine, and then I'll hit with my arms, which is a nat 20. Thank you very much. So I'm going to join this one here, and it's going up, which is 6 damage. Okay, Dwarf Zombie falls down, what should we do with this? It's now a flammable object in the bonfire area, it catches fire! It's quite bloody perfect. Okay, so you see this guy rise up from behind the bellows, I'll show you a picture of him. This is just one of those green things. Ryan May's wall of hubris. Yeah, oh, I wonder why they had that picture there. That's a weird one. I had both of them there for some reason, but it's this one. This one gives a better picture of what he was probably seen in before. Ooh, big skull. Oh, yes. Cool. Flaming skull. See him rise up in his locked eyes with Master Tibbles. He's closest. You make an eye about your Tibbles. Big skull. Okay, you see a fire ray coming towards you for 15 to hit. That was not here. See a second one coming towards you for 18 to hit. Uh, Stuff down, does not hit. Okay. Um, just... <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to be fine because it's a zombie. The Zorbon Gap, that's definitely one. You need to close that on the screen so I can see. Yes. Which one? Which token is the flame skull? The weird little green cubic thing. Oh, oh like slightly smaller. The, the one that I color. can't see any color on because it's so small. Yeah, the tiny one. He's not very big. Yara. Yeah, the one in front of us is still alive, isn't he? Yeah. No, no. no. He's on no. fire on the bonfire. He's gone. Um, you can smell him. I'm going to go upwards and just like straight up and just take a swing at the first one in front of me. Yep. And I'm going to. I'm not going to rage just yet. Twelve to hit. Twelve hits. Is that your eye? That's really that's the dice rolling. Twelve damage. Done. That's me. Stuff. Crashed again. 
Um, Zhiyi, the one that's getting hit by Kiara, he's about to lunge at you. It's a zombie or ghoul? Sorry, it's a zombie. Zombie, yeah, zombie. Really, roll 20? 18 to hit. Down here. For a total of three bludgeoning. I'll oh, take it. See? Also, I'm paying you four bucks. I can take two chocolates. Don't be looking at me all the time. Why? Look at me. Look at me. Nox's turn. The one thing warlocks and are in for is so good. <laughs> it's like it's just so good. Um alright. Nox, can Nox see the shadow, the skull? Yeah, it would. Skull? It's flying up high at the moment. Okay, so skull, general attack is, what, eight is 15 to hit. 15 would hit, but you see a shield appear. Okay, all right, I mean, nothing. Parker. Parker rushes up to beside Kira and down all fours again, just with that sort of party. Um, and cocks head to the side for a moment and then breathes out a 15 foot cone of lightning mm. at the two to the north. There, standing next to Kira. And uh, Dex say, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, for some reason it opened up. So, yeah, Dex say from the two yeah. there. A 13 from on the left and a 10 from one on the right. So, they both fail and take. Uh, ten lightning damage each. One falls. Uh, this one is down and out. He's crispy fried. Lovely. Okay. Arca all done. Yep. Okay. This one stumbles over to attack. Eleven misses. See. Get stuck halfway over like the last one did. So that one there and that one there are not really there. Okay. So those two are just yeah, stuck with this. Turns out it's just the skull. This Dogon Gamma. White, uh, the one that's next to me. Yeah. Uh, do you get back that on that one? Oh, is someone next to it? Yeah. No, no. you and Muskable standing yep. nearby. It's just close to White Muskable. So. Um, that is 22 to hit. Twenty two hits. Five plus two plus three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten piercing damage. Ten piercing. Master Tibbles. Right, my turn. Uh, um, there's one right near me. He just attacks you. Alright. Um, Warp zombie. Hit him with the star. 20 to hit. Hits. Go long thing. Close the door. Uh, six by four is ten damage. With yep. self defense. And then reaches around. Thirty-four. Plus, then plus six is twenty-three to hit. Twenty-three hits. 
And then that is seven damage. Damage at unarmed strike. Your yep. arm goes through and he falls over. Perfect. Thank you very much. Oh. Feels a lot better already than the last one. <laughs> Skull is up in the air near the roof. Moves forward. And attacks Nox. Fire. Eight. Uh, no, Second oh, attack. Yeah. Second attack, knack 20 for 25 to hit. <laughs> um, so is this fire? Fire? Mm -hmm. Is this fire? Yes. Uh, so it's resistant. Yep. Uh, 24 fire damage. 24, I'll figure that out. And apply that. Apply that to my... Oh, oh, rebuke! So, dex of 16, thank you very much. Dex saving throw of 16. 18. So, what the hell is that doing? Half damage. It takes two D ten damage on a fail, so and half as much on a successful, so yeah, it's plus four is twelve, six damage sink. Damage, damage. <clears throat> Kiara. Um, I'm just gonna step up and just take a swing at him. That's a nine to hit. Hits. Oh really? Jesus, okay. Oh, no. Uh, that's 12 damage. He is down. And then... The ghost, like, the skull's floating now, you said? Oh yeah, near like, the roof. Near the roof, that's 30 feet or so. Uh, I'm just going to walk as close as I can to the next zombie up the bottom. Well, so the one that's just climbing on the... 30 feet to get to there? Yeah. I'm going to be on my off-duty while you guys deal with the skull. Cool. That one there. Nox. Oh, that was a... Yeah. Eldritch Blast, Flaming Skull, thank you very much. That's a two. Oh! Anything because he's no. right near me? He's close. He's in the air. Yeah, doesn't hit. <laughs> no. That's it. Okay. Arca. Uh, how tall is the bellows? Good question. Standing about 15 feet. I'm going to climb up to the top of it. Yep. And I've still got dragon breath up, so if I can get to within 15 feet of the skull, it's going to take a 15 foot cone of lightning damage to the face that is its entire length. Has she got climbing skill? It'll be difficult to rain to get up. Yeah, but it's only 10 spaces or uh, 10 feet away, so it's 10 feet to there, plus it's 15 to get up there. How much? 30. 30 feet. So take 30 feet just to climb it. Then you use 10 feet to get there. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Can I get to within 15 feet of the skull on my way up? No. Because he's 30 feet up. He's near the roof. Probably 5 feet from the roof, roughly. So he's 25 feet up. So you need to move at least another 5 to 10 feet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, if I can get 
So 10 feet of movement, and then I can climb another 10 feet, which will get me to 15 feet from him, I think. Uh, you can get 10 feet up, 15 foot, 25, yeah, if he's 25 feet, feet up, and he's five mm. feet from him, yeah. Okay, your call, otherwise I'm setting it to over the bellows to that one near um, that zombie down there, but... Sounds right. Cool. Um, deck save from the skull. <laughs> okay, so he takes half damage, of which I rolled almost maximum. So, 16 reduced to 8 lightning damage. Done. Okay. Okay. This one's attacking Kiara. It's lunging at you. Wolf to hit. This is Rogue on Gavin. You want to try and attack the one that's tried to attack the Kiara? Yep. Correct attack tactics. That is 16 hit. Hits. And 13 piercing damage. 13 piercing. Hey, nice tittles. So how far up? 25, 25 feet. feet. Yeah, I'm going to do like a thing and jump and grab it. <laughs> so Are you going to grab him? Well, no, I'm going to hit him. Like, I'm going to hit him with, hit him with like... So, okay, so sorry. 20 feet up. Without a running start, I have a high jump of 12 feet. So, so can't hit, he can't hit me while I'm on the ground, correct? No, he can. He's, He's using yeah, strong he can... range. <laughs> oh, sorry, it might only use range if I like move and do a loop. He doesn't have area, but he doesn't have um, protection against you. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do 25 feet up the top of the ground. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to... You've got the bellows. Yeah, because yeah, you've got climb I'm speed. I'm going to climb so... up the bellows to jump and get him. Okay. Based on this, so long as I have 10 feet of movement. Can you try and grapple him? And just basketball heat into the ground. Maybe I could, but I could probably also do my 3D hit somewhere. Yeah. See where it like that last me. Yeah. Ten feet of movement on the bellows. Straight up. That will give me enough to get him. Mm -hmm. So I'm climbing up the bellows as well, so it shouldn't be any problems with my movement. Um, we'll circle around. Okay. And then jump up the bellows to do three hits on as I'm coming down. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, double, speed. Makes sense. Do you want to double check my numbers? <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> okay. So, and as I'm coming down, I'm going to do three hits against okay. said skull. First one is going to be uh, 25 to hit. <laughs> hits. Uh, is seven damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, 25 to hit again. Hits. It's plus 7 damage. Yep. And then 7 plus 6 is 13 to hit. Hits. Which is 4 plus 4 is 8 damage. Which is done. Okay. And that is me. And you're going to fall to the ground, do a fantastic roll. And, and then do a roll on a dive and it's <laughs> Dramatically. Okay. Wow. Parker, it's like halfway up the bellows, <laughs> climbing with difficulty, and just fast. watches it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Okay. <laughs> skull moves. It's just been hit a few times by Master Tibble. It's going to turn around and fire off at him. Okay. Master Tibble's a her, isn't it? She is. Yeah. Master is a titan. Yeah. It's confusing one. Yeah. <laughs> Do it on uh, purpose. Nine does not hit. Nine does not hit. Twenty to hit. Twenty with my staff will not hit. Tiara. Uh, I'm a. Is that one still in front of me? Yes. I'm a swing. That one. 
Sorry, that's the other one. Yep. Uh, is Eldritch Blast 19 plus 8 is 27 to hit. Uh, D4 plus 7 plus 5 is 13 damage to the flame star. 13? Excellent. Does he look in damage at all? Oh, yeah. You see his flame go out and its skull falls to the ground. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Do the zombies all drop as well because they don't want to run them right before him? No, they're still moving. They're still up. There's just the one left? Uh, oh. uh, you can see two. Two, yeah. So you got one here. Ah, uh -huh. back on the invisible. There's one in front of me. Technically, you can see over the other side. There is a um, ledge over here. I'll move Master Tibble so you can see. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to see it, but it's just a ledge over here. There's two zombies on there. Are they doing anything? We're just watching. They're just watching. They're standing there, not moving forward. And yep. you can see the ledge. It goes around, but it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, is there any water in that? Um... Completely empty. Okay. Well, I guess that's something we have to keep going. So I guess there's water there. Maybe something in that. Yeah. Start the thing to you. Start to sleep. Whatever the fuck they are. So it's really cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was climbing up here to do something to that skull <laughs> No longer in range or flying. Uh kind of turns to the zombie that's down there making a bit of a mess and angles the cone of lightning to just clip that zombie since there's nothing else really usefully in range. Oh, and finishes the climb up to the top of the bellows. Yep. <laughs> so give me a dexterity save. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Just give me a dexterity <laughs> throw for the zombie. Yep. Uh, this is so 13 damage or half on save. Uh, 7. 13 lightning damage. Crispy fried zombies. Okay, uh, Zolvon Gun. I'm taking one flight out of it. Uh, out of what? Oh, it's the closest one that you can attack is over here. Oh, didn't Make sure you jump oh, over that's, just... that's a bait one there. Mm. Yeah. You, you go for the bite and just this cone of lightning <laughs> hits it for 42. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, in that case, I'll oh, run across to the closest one. Yeah. Get the bellows here. It's 5, 10, 15. 20, 30, you get to here. Oh, so that, that one, is is that one of the fake ones? Yeah, these two here are fake. Oh, yeah. They don't exist. I can't do anything with them. What's the speed? Uh, 40, 30, 30. I'll double check. Oh, 50. <laughs> yeah, you can make it. <laughs> Is 23 to hit. Six, nine piercing damage. Master Tibbles. Jumping over. <laughs> we'll go down and join on the the one remaining one. Right yep. On the side of the yeah. And we'll hit that one. It's 30 feet to get to there. But... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm not going to use that one. Really. I've got 40 feet of movement, standard. Yeah, 40 gets you there. Yeah. Including flying speed, which negates. Includes, yeah, which negates the movement. So. Sorry, I shouldn't have disregarded your thing. <laughs> you are the DM. <laughs> That one hits for a two, which won't hit. And then my second. I hit. mean, what what is the actual sum on the two? 
uh, I'll get that one in. And then the next one's 18 plus 6 is 24. Oh, 2 plus 6 is 8. 2 plus 6 is 8. Is the 8 a hit? Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, no, 9 hit. Then I have some yeah. Item. Oh, yeah. Um, so the first one. I've got no armor. <laughs> and. Three, so 7 damage for the first Jerry one. Dodge. No. And then six damage for the second one. Okay. Damn. Go on. Uh, so technically still in combat because there's those two on the other side just watching you. So Nox will move across and just help us blast. Until they're dead. Until they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. They're back down. Anyone in combat. Else, anyone else wants to? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go look at the skull and see if I can find anything. Or it's just a skull. Yeah, we're it's just great. a skull. I'm gonna pick him up. It's a human skull. I'm gonna pick him up. No, you can. New hat. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him at the spider. I haven't thrown something. Before. <laughs> um, you can keep attack. The first one. There's an elf going on around. That'll look. Uh, oh, yeah. All right. Jeez. That's what I'm spider. I say to go up. You can go back in and go up. Well, mm -hmm. can this, where on this side where there's a walk up? I think it's just the water channel linking the water out. Channel. Okay. Well, yeah, I said to go back and go up the stairs then. And that's something through way over this way in the east. We're kind of coming back around. So I'd be like, I'm not yeah, I'm yeah. going to go up and then kind of come back instead of going this side. I'd have to go back and yeah. up. Nothing else yeah. really in the area other than the um, machine itself. We're I mean, getting more interesting each time we go this direction, so. Yeah, but there's a room up that we like, when we cut across to the bow street, there's yeah. a room up. And that's where and the that, channel's leading, I feel. And that's the only area that we haven't done before we start to. But it seems to be like curving back around. Yeah. In a big circle. Well. So either we continue to go around or we complete the loop and we do that top part and oh. then we come to the lower. Just so we don't have to come back to it. Uh, so heading back to the stairs. Mm -hmm. yeah. They head north. I want to lie back here in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Going back to here. Okay. So that's the stairs that we've got there. Yep, and that's the gi giant boa constrictors right behind you, basically on the ground. Which we haven't seen before. Did you need to change? Yeah. It's in all space. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's why I actually can be changed. Yeah, that's good. I'll figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's hear them all. Oh, you got cannibals? Well, well, one of everything, so if you like something in particular, let me know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm not going to take that one. Rather than the crown. Oh, cool. Uh, uh, yeah, that's cool. There you go. Do you want one? <laughs> sure. I've got $2 left over, so feel free to help yourself. Do one free. Oh, 10 bucks. That's 20 bucks, man. Wow, I'm not going to get out of that. <laughs> well, I free slice. Thank you. Yeah, just leave it on the table for now. I don't need to see it. Yeah, I've spent the whole thing up. Sweet. Alright, where were we? Heading up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now to look at the snake. Tibbles will be front, I'll be behind. He'll be checking for traps and sneaking. Yeah, yeah, I'll check. Roll and do everything that I need to. Okay. So, leads to a T-junction, top of the stairs, there's stairs heading down to your east, and to your west there is another passageway heading off. Should we yeah. check that? Uh, oh, what can I see? What can I see? If you're sneaking, give it a stealth roll as well. Right. Still, 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 plus 8 is 18, plus 8 is 26. Yep. Cool. You are a shadow. It is very loud here, by the way, as well. You hear a lot of um, waves. Is it similar to the thudding that we heard at the start? 
the vibe it's in time with the vibrations you hear through the floor. Okay, so this is kind of where it's emanating from. Coming from the right or the left? From the right. Just want to check the right first there first to Could I have a peek in to see around yeah. what might be You're just poking way. your head around the corner? Yeah, it's been very stealthy with the Do you see a bug there? Okay. Um what else do you see? Mm. Let's see much else. You do see the water. Yeah, I don't see much else, but you see the bugbear and he's working. Um, he he's looking through some rubble. Clear. They're clearing rock. Is he at the top of a cliff or the bottom of a cliff? Top. Do you want to push him in? Let me check one thing. Out. Oh, <laughs> Did you come around the corner? Um, I really want to run him straight into the ocean. Hmm? I don't know if I'll be able to. I think it seems like it's too much. I'm going to have to ask to you. I've only got 38. Do you want to throw him into the ocean? What do I need to do to push him? You're sneaky, you can't see, you can probably get right up mm. and then just... So what would I need to do to push it? It should be a strength check, pretty sure. How, how far away is he? Uh, from where Master Tipple is? Yeah. 35 feet? So how, how far is he away from where I am? Oh, you're still down. What would it be yeah. an advantage on a self track because he has the skin? He's working through another thing. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, that, it would be. In that case, I'm going to use my 40 foot of movement. Because the Die Wolf is 50 feet movement. Yeah, but I don't know if it's Die Wolf stealth is it. Well, it doesn't matter how stealthy it is if I just push more. Well, there's only. We can only see one, so. Two. So, rushing out, 40 foot of movement. The stealthily <laughs> push a bugbear. Stealth, stealth is half, oh, half speed, though, isn't it? If you're moving stealthily. Oh, but we're out of combat, so it'll be technically. Mm. Yeah. It's like a, a Oh, there's a few of them. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, but I mean, I the thought... next nearest one is like at the bottom of the cliff that the other one's going to join. I thought that was kind of like a lake where all the water's coming from, so you just toss it into the ocean. No, but he's at the top of a cliff. That's the two down. How big is the cliff? Bottom of the cliff is fine because it probably means that <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Uh, down. So, do you want to strength? One? Strength check. Okay. I don't have great strength. As soon as I see him make contact with the bugbear, I'm going to use my nine. 30 feet. So, it's 9 or 11. Up. Oh, you push him up. <laughs> <laughs> he falls 20 feet. <laughs> takes uh, 2d6 damage. But everyone roll for initiative so I can put that damage in. I. Can I my yeah, you contact. ran out. Yeah. 15. Yeah. 15 to 18 for Nox. 12 for Arca. Rolling better, but then everybody else rolled better than us. It's alright, I didn't roll amazing. Sorry, what's all about Governor again? 15. 15, and Master Tibble's got? Oh, God, uh, sorry, give me two. I've got to go back to check the stats. Master Tibble's got. Let's uh, do 15. Okay. Nox got 18. Okay, cool. It's this guy, and it's 2d3 damage. Don't do real threatening against you. Nox is going to come in and try and run up to the other because we're always going to do it. He's shocking. It's Nox's turn. Oh, do you want to do that? 
Knox come out with I don't know how much is it? I think thirty feet I'd say. Thirty feet. Yeah, that's kind of how how could Knox get out to see the one that's down one of the cliff? Or thirty feet to get to there. All right. Well, is that one to the something to the north? Is yeah. It? What's what's that thing? Knox fish that you can kind of see. Um, just looks like a human. Hold action until the human does anything. Yeah, I'm going to see a okay. current enemy. Let's see what they smell this fast. This is kind of racist. We immediately attack the bug bear. We, <laughs> we haven't had a good run with that. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> If it was in a beat with the bug. If it was a bowl constrictor, what would you have done? <laughs> it, it jumped me. I, I think I'm happy. Look, I've been jumped by quite a few bug bears. <laughs> oh, in fairness, bug bears had a less good time with us. Yeah, so far. Ten, been close. Six, it was close last time. Uh, I was not yeah. feeling happy. Bug bears climbing the wall. 20 feet. How much extra feet is it? It's been a while since they're done climbing. Um, Double. Double? I think. Is that right? So the bug gets up. to the top of the thing and knocks his hold action, goes up, knocking it down. It's only 30. He's only at three quarters of the way up. So he's still down enough. Maybe his hands start to peer <laughs> over the top because <laughs> bug may <bear> reach. <laughs> and then he gets shot in the fingers. <laughs> Uh, must do this. Oh, okay. Um, okay, it's halfway up the three quarters. So I go over to the edge, and we can probably gold swing his head <laughs> with a club. I probably more fix it there better. Um, okay, so I've got a time speed. So you're gonna, gonna climb down a bit. Then we <laughs> climb down. <laughs> just hit him. <laughs> He's just getting up. <laughs> I'll be like squat at the top of the cliff and just go and start. <laughs> so I miss on that one. But I'll just Sorry. Roll, roll the wrong thing. Um, I, I don't know. Is he climbing? Is he at a disadvantage? Do I get to hit him like. Is he prone? He's prone. And I'm like. Jesus. Is he going to let him hit him if he's like. He's prone vertically. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to stand it. Good question. Uh, no, he's not prone. So is it 11 hit? 11 does not hit. Okay, so then my hammer strike comes for a one, no, so that doesn't hit. Um, so then I turn around and I climb back up. <laughs> yep. Onto the top and I move slightly away from has he, has he got reach if he's climbing? Like, he yeah. hasn't got his weapon in his hands. He's holding <laughs> on, technically. <laughs> I don't want him to let go so he falls down. <laughs> okay, it's all gone, Governor. Uh, so apparently there's nobody nearby except the one who's on the cliff, right? Well, You've got to get into the room. Right? Um, I won't be able to reach him from the edge of the cliff. No. Um, then... I will probably hold my action until I see someone who's within like 30 feet from the same level as me. Yep. So I'll hold do you want to move up at least? Yeah, I'll move up so I'm like roughly in the middle of everyone. Yep. And then I'll hold, like, hold an attack with anyone slack within like 50, 30, 15 feet. Kiara. Can we still see the human? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are they paying any attention to it? They have noticed you, and they look a bit shocked, but that's about it. Um, how far away are they, Alex? From you? 40 feet. You got a stream in the way as well. I get as close to as I can. What's your walking speed? I think 30. He gets you the other side of the stream. Okay, I just I had it. Yeah, I'll put some pretty like what, like fifteen feet away. Yeah, not far away. Five ten. 
I get as far forward as I can, I need towards the clip, since that seems to be where everything's happening. Uh, 30 feet? Yep. Do I have line of sight on any of those bugbears? No. Even the one that's down the back? Oh, yeah. Just? Ah. Uh, I'm going to throw a fireball at him. <laughs> you know. He looks like one of the angry sort of bugbears with a weapon. I'm assuming. Gracious adventurers. <laughs> uh, 18 to hit him? It's. Six points of fire damage. Done. And that's all I got. Into the 120 foot range. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 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 I don't imagine my character as Mufasa, <laughs> as a Scar, but I just like that. <laughs> yeah. What if Nala was Scar? Um, <laughs> so you can't see it. Kiara will be able to see it from where they are. There is a ledge here. That's up higher, about another 20 feet up from where they are, the bugbears. So it's the same height as what you're at, mm -hmm. but it's on the other side. You see a bugbear up there, and he's throwing a javelin at Kiara. Uh, 23 to hit. Yeah, it's under 10 piercing damage. Okay. Oh, it's climbing the wall now. See this human run. See, I'm talking. <laughs> they look scared. They look scared. Of me or the bugbear? Yes, you. Nox. Oh. Um. Does Nox want to step forward and start sliding them down? Yeah. Turns. Who put him in this position where he can fire at him? She can fire at a bugbear. So. Yep. Which one? The closest one? Who wants to go straight up to the ledge or just over here so they can snipe the other two? Uh, can yeah. you see the one on the ledge that's starting the javelin? Uh, from this angle. Like they move across. Yes. The so if Nox takes out the javelin. I'll, start, I'll throw, throw it one. Start shooting. They are yeah. currently 45 feet away. That's, that's fine. So it is uh, 16 hits, and then that is 9 plus 1 is 6 damage. Back to the original bugbear, you got three quarters of the way up. He's going to pop out the top now and hit. Tibbles. Tibbles is going to push him right back up. <laughs> yeah, you uh, hit. 17 hit. That was 10. Master Tibbles. Great. Lovely uh, strength push, thank you very much. <laughs> yep. You know, lovely 2d6 weapon yeah. in gravity. Do, do I like have advantage or anything with the people behind me? Not now. <laughs> you burst him strength. My strength is that great against my bear, but like. Roll high! Nat 20! 
Okay, you beat him there. Doesn't <laughs> double the damage on this, unfortunately, yeah. but it's still 2d6s. Now you push him back down. He just got up. I just picture in his space at that point. <laughs> He's gonna be peeved. <laughs> Until it moves. Takes another 10 falling damage. <laughs> He's not looking healthy after that. <laughs> Uh, um, it's all done, Gunner. Sorry, oh, sorry, you're not done. I'm gonna use the rest of my movement to move up to the one that's here. Yeah. Twenty thirty to get to there. Chase that. Oh, still running to go to it. How much? How far is the human on? They just run away. They rounds. I'm assuming they dash, so it's sixty feet. I'm guessing. How far is the humanoid from where, we were, where I was? Uh, they were within a couple of spaces of where you are now. Mm, they were about here. Okay. Sorry. So the, I've seen, I've done that. It's an action. Now I can see. So I'm going to use one key point to take me back from where I was. One key point for Step of the Wings. Go on. Where were you? Did? I can't remember. Uh, there we go. Yeah. One key point for Step of the Wind, which gives me bonus action for dash. One, my movement is 40. Then I get 80. Then I'm going to use my Tabaxi special creep for this one, which doubles my movement again, which gives me 160 movement for this round to get in front of that. Tabaxi monks are great. They get to the me. <laughs> So I'm just imagining this human that doesn't have dark vision. Yeah. He's running for life, turned around, there's just this cat on all fours, just sprinting yeah. out. Well, probably doing sprint. at least some of it like along the walls just to That's get the corners. So you're going up the stairs? So the human is still in front of me. So I'll going continue. up two sets of stairs so far. Yeah, I'll continue to... Um, oh, oh, it's fast. Hey. Yeah. That was only one round. Get within one more square of and I'll get within one more square of that human. Thank you very much. I think you can probably get in front of me. Oh, well, no, I can see things that are, that are in front of it. <laughs> so I'm going to stop right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, Pitch Black running for her life, and she's just hearing the scratching. <laughs> <and> just, <laughs> just, 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 yeah, let's say that uh, that sort of corridors, Tabaxi Monk in full zoomies, would be just like. Arcing up onto the walls oh, yeah. to make the corners. Yeah. Probably yeah. does at least yeah. one loop with like all you know, racing games. Like, sort of the eye thing going. Yeah. Mm. What going on there? <laughs> um, Kiara. Um. <laughs> oh, is it Marco or. Sorry, yeah. Zorbon Godner. Yeah. It's because I skipped it. I will. I will dash and I'll follow. I'll follow. The human as well, 100 yep. feet. <laughs> you put move on a diet wall. 95 feet to get to the deck. <laughs> and you can attack, can't you? Uh, not with a dash. No, not with a dash. Yeah. So they're both going to go. Mm. That's, the end of That's it. Kiara. Um, as this guy there beneath me started to climb, he's three quarters of the way up. Can I theoretically go swing with my axe at his head? It's 20 feet. He's 10, he's five feet below. That's, okay. That's in range. Mm. He's just kind of still in the right way. Yeah. Also, <laughs> bugbear arms are nice and long, so he doesn't have to climb. You can just take him off the elbow. Oh, I'm going brief head. Like, with the blade. Like, it's not even, like, a blunt edge. Like, it's the blade. Uh, let's have a look sees to see what I do. Uh, my axe. 13 to hit. Does not hit. I give you a finger. <laughs> yep. And that's me. Alright. Arca. Uh, Arca's gonna run, uh, up towards... Kira as close as possible, and that one that threw a javelin from across the way is uh, going to get a firebolt, just as Arthur's down on all fours yep. trying to do the I am 
small and not a threat, and also a dragon spitting fire at you. Uh, a 15? 15 does not hit. Fucker. I hope fireball. Oh, no, fireball. Fire <laughs> I don't get fireball until the next level. And I'll be throwing that down at the two below us. Yeah. He's gonna get to the top, jump up. He's gonna take a swing, Chiara. Five to hit. Ah, no. Uh oh, and you got another javelin coming towards you. This one gets to the top. Here he's throwing a javelin at here. What? what? I didn't push him off the cliff. <laughs> uh, 19 to hit. Yes. What's your AC? 15. Four piercing damage. Four? Half. No, Not very raging. So the human you're chasing, all he heard was scurrying and click clacking on things and everything behind him. He's just going to keep running. He doesn't know how close you are. Do they both get opportunity attacks? Mm, they will if, if they, they want, want to. If they want the human dead. Yes. I think I think I do. You attack him? Yeah. But they can always do like opportunity aim time like knock well, him. Yeah, I mean kill. Yeah. Seventeen. Non lethal damage is uh, hits three in. six plus so yeah. ten damage. Yep. For myself, so that's me. That's only a reaction attack. And Zorbon Governor taking a reaction? Yes, but I'll I'll try and um I'll try and, try and be non-lethal and okay. try and like uh, grab it, but I can't really grab can you in this uh, reaction. I'll try and like nip at it, nip, nip at their heels. And, yep, like, can make melee damage now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I'll like, try and nip at their heels. Just don't put your claws out. <laughs> so that would be six plus two ah. balls is next, it would be six. Unnatural twenty hits. Uh, that would be six plus oh. six plus three, twelve, 15, um, fifteen. 15. Yeah, he, yeah. he doesn't seem phased. Wow. He keeps running. Wow, he well, really just took fifteen plus something else. He runs off to the right, so sorry. Okay. Uh. I'm now glad you chased that guy. <laughs> that, was, that was like a, my max damage. <laughs> yeah, no, that was literal max on the dice. It the, was the, the, only way, the only way it could have been fire was with a natural 20. It's totally yeah. a bit squishy, but no. Oh, I thought it would like go down with a with breeze. <laughs> yeah. No. Nox. I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've only got... Do you need any help with the bugbears, or...? No. I, I feel like we should be fine as long as you guys are... Nox, is that the same so, level? So... I think... Oh, Nox. Uh, Nox is... Um, I mean, well, we've still got that javelin throw across yeah, the way. Yeah, Eldritch Blast. Uh, sorry, what, can you just maybe reset it down the bottom? Um, is there one of the bugbears that is down the bottom of the... Yep. Just pushed him back down. Did he uh, climb all the way up? He did. He got pushed back down. <laughs> Master Tibble pushed him down. Didn't and he then had the zoomies. Oh, he, the he... other one that climbed off. Oh, I thought he climbed fish. back up as well and then threw a javelin at me. No, that wasn't this guy up here. Oh, top. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's the one down the bottom? Was Strangely, it? can't see. That's the one that's fallen off the cliff twice. Looking bad. Yeah. He's not happy. I, I feel like <laughs> down the bottom. Yeah. All right. Clear the board. Slightly step forward and oh. Eldritch Blast. Yep. I feel like my token doesn't have night uh, dark vision turned on. No. Plus eight is they all nineteen. Should. Set them all to hit. It doesn't. E. Nineteen hit was it? Yeah. It's four plus five is nine damage. It is gone. Run back onto the ground. Just give me a second, I'm setting up the other area just in case you go in there. 
Oh, the fucker just has it. It's already in there. It's the the zone of Ronnie Dead now. Okay. Where were we at? The dead mounts of Tibbles. So annoying that white. Probably make you know. That was Nox at 18. Okay. Yep, be Master Tibbles. I think we thing. I don't know if you, you should move into that room and just watch. Just because I don't know what's going to happen. It'd be interesting if you did. <laughs> Probably not any way you were expecting that. <clears throat> Maybe fall back to us. So, we would just keep an eye. That much damage didn't even phase the wizard. <laughs> we. They look we can hit him. It looked like you had common and clothes on. Oh, is that a door rock song? Yes, yes, it is. Can I open the door? It is locked. Definitely try. No, we're gonna we're gonna move back at this point to the rest of the group. So. Where can I get this body painting? Yeah. That's fine for now. We've got like two enemies left. It's just I don't want you to be able to. It's the one across the way from now. Yeah, but the one of the ones down the bottom died. Yeah, and there's two right Sorry. next to you. Can I move back? Oh, it's two next to me. Can I move back and move yeah. up? Try one further. He's one all, all the way up. That one is slightly close. Uh, like around the corner there. Gotcha. You can, yep. Yeah, I'm going to throw a jab on it. <laughs> the rest yep. of the thing. Some right. I don't have the two, but that's that's cool. So ten plus six is sixteen. You hit. Hits. So it's uh, nine damage. I think you can um, break soft on javelins off these guys. Oh, I'll just, yeah. I'll just keep on grabbing some javelins. Uh, Zorban Governor, at least two 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 recruited. I will move to so just back one. around the corner. Doors. This corner. Yeah, yeah, so like a little bit more to the left. And then I'll stay there. Okay, thank you. And then I'll ready, I'll ready an attack for if anything comes around the corner. Tiara. Um, I am going to rage. Um, my face kind of morphs, like my teeth elongate. I kind of get like the lower half of like a wolf snout. And I'm just going to. Bite this person. Mm -hmm. There, this person's face. I need to figure out what it counts as. Maybe it just counts. Like an arm. Yeah. 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 Natural right. weapons are unarmed attack. Yeah. Then you're proficient. So, yeah. Could be the same attack roll as your normal strength weapon. Well, I mean, okay. Doesn't mean. So I do that. Okay. Okay. How far away is the guy on the other side throwing javelins from out of reach? From your spot, 40 feet. Alright, uh, Arca, um, just spits a little mote of fire that arcs across and lands at the bugbear's feet and blossoms out into a little magical bonfire filling the five foot cube, so mm -hmm. deck save. Okay, so he doesn't take any fire damage, but you have to redo 
the save every time he ends his turn in that spot. In that square. Okay. Just have him on fire. And I'm gonna... Uh, yeah, I think I'll save him now. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Morningstar coming towards you. 18 to hit. Thank you. 12 piercing damage. 6 piercing damage. Yeah. This guy's going to move up the bonfire. It's five foot, was it? Yeah, yeah. it's five foot. Yeah. Moves, and a javelin's coming towards the Kiara. Yeah. Twenty-two to hit. That hits me. Are you dead or alive? No, I'm alive. I <laughs> have eleven hit points. Uh, you now got one. How much damage? Oh no, it's you got raging on. It's ten. Kind of <laughs> So you're on six. Yeah, I was going to say, doing ten damage <laughs> when I'm raging is insane. This one's going to throw another morning star at you. They're going to throw the morning <laughs> star at me. So he's got to swing it, bro. A dirty 20. Fuck me. Yeah. Or five piercing damage. It's up two. Yeah. <laughs> One hit points. Okay. Nox. Okay, uh... How bad are they both looking? Take out the one throwing javelins at us. Right. Yeah, the yeah. one that Kiara can't reach. Yeah, javelin one. Get one across the javelin. Nox is. Sorry, Nox. It's Nox's turn? Yeah, Nox is a plus. Yeah, you're saying you're javelin. No, they're throwing javelin. Throwing javelin. No, no, no. Okay, the one that's throwing. That's right. Why is Nox throwing a javelin? <laughs> cool. Because the, the yellow brass are just kind of blended into the company. Mm. Isn't it? Monster. Uh, 25. Hits. Hits. 10 plus 5. 15 damage. 15. Yeah. He's not looking healthy. Yeah, it crashed in the room. Resting. So you're holding the breach point? I am just around the corner, yeah. just in case anything tries to come up from behind us. Okay. Are you okay with me leaving you, or do you want me to stick around with you? Uh, I you, you're you fine to leave me. If you leave me, I'll probably move further back down the corridor. Yeah. But then again, it won't take you long to get back to there, because... Yeah. I've got to rest for a time before I get my full movement back. But even to there, that's, that's less than 40 feet to get back to where Zora is yeah, that's, that's from the Black Bears. I should be fine. Just practice. Still playing, so... I suppose not. Um, that was Nox's turn. Now we're on Master Tibbles. Master Tibbles is turn. He's going to move to. You're still up, aren't you? Yeah, barely. But yeah, I'm going to find I'm the bugbear, which is to the northwest. It's on the other side. Yep. To hit. Uh, you get one over, so that I get the flanking thing mm -hmm. because the arrow's on the other side. Um, with my thing of defense. So, do I get a ban? Oh, because you're on the other Flank. side, I get a ban. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, that would have been uh, 13 or 13. To hit? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I'll do the other one, which is also an advantage. So 12 or uh, 19. 19 hits. 19. And that comes to. Damn lucky to... little girls. Six plus three, nine damage to oh, that one. one. He is looking near death. Dorbun Governor. One more thing. Are they within 50 feet of me? Are they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 50. That's... Yes, definitely. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, then I'll quickly, Run them around. I'll quickly follow Master Tibbles. Yep. And take a bite out of the one that looks the most injured. Yep. Is twenty four hits. It's only within two of your AC next to you, but every attack is up. Has been uh, a like six feet from them. Yeah, he is down. 
We've got two more bugbears, and we've got the other ones that are kind of slower around the world. Yeah. Kiara. I'm going to just bite him. Um, oh. Hey. No, but you've got your flanking. So mm. you've got advantage. Does that count as flanking? Yep. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's, a, uh, that's a dirty 20, so I'll take that for Shit. sure. And that's four, plus I'm raging, plus two health, six damage. You get two back from that. And I get two health back. So I kind of just like latch on and just kept doing it with blood. Shit. Hello. Being done. Okay. That. How much damage was it? Uh, six. Don't have his nameplate on, it's right now, so... Where is his nameplate, Thomas? Done. Okay. Arca. So, Arca's looking, like... You know, really wants to fry this guy across the way, but then looks at Kira's like, mm, yeah, we're gonna be helpful. And, um, breathes out that lovely, cooling, draconic mist onto Kira's back, which is get that spell. Getting stunned by a dragon. That would be the worst thing to happen to me. <laughs> you get 10 points back. Because I rolled seven on a D eight. Oh, that's good. That's good luck. But I can run in the water spell. But I can burn sort of three points if I need to. Uh so I think I'll step one to the Northwest, and just try and look menacing at the bugbear that's in here. <laughs> just kind of growling at it, and in that ridiculous bright green outfit that's still untouched. So Give us a intimidation roll. I like the sound of it. This is a big bugbear that's standing eight foot tall. <laughs> uh, Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> It is his turn. He's going to hit Kiara. <laughs> uh, 23 to hit. Jesus Christ, okay. Or oh, six piercing damage. Okay, that's not too bad. Yep. Uh, javelin coming towards Master. Who's old Long Gavner? Twenty three to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, six piercing damage. This jab how many javelins does he have? He's got a barrel over there if you look <laughs> over. Okay. Nox. Nox is going for the one that's from the javelins. Eighteen plus Eight is 26. 26 yeah. Yes. And damage is is seven damage to the one that's trying to get out He's down. Yes. Hey. I was about to use create bonfire or his power <laughs> He was running out of room to stand on over there, so that could have worked. Yeah. That's good. And then Nox will move up to slightly behind Master 2, or like across the other side of the wall. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Cool, Master Tibbles. Uh, <laughs> Master Tibbles will move down to, no, it will, sorry, on the other side, because then you've got flank, uh, down one, and yep, there, that's cool. Move the flank in, it gets lots of advantages. Let's try this one, 18 plus 6 is, and we'll see if I get better than that, no, 18 plus is still there. So, 5 damage. 
Still alive? Yes. Okay, next strike is my natural 20 or... Yeah, natural 20 is the best one. Mm -hmm. And then it's five plus three, so eight damage. He's not looking healthy, but it's still on. So I'm going to grab it at ankle. Mm. Twenty-one hit. Twenty-one hits. Damage. What do you do to him? You grab his ankle? Yeah, I just grab his ankle and then shake it around. Right. And combat. Alright, I think we still got some people coming from the top end. Yeah. Um, since it's 9 o'clock now, do you think we should start that next session? Now that there's like it a. Seems like a dramatic sort of. Ah, room. <laughs> Um, it is nine o'clock. If we want to call it there, we can. Otherwise, this is a major battle, and it could take a fair while. How do you feel? It could, depending on how it goes. But yeah, because it kind of feels like this is the most natural place to stop. And they're basically about to walk out on you now. So. Okay. Depending on what you're going to do, you could just hear them coming around the corner. I mean, I think we have good space to drop. Yeah. I mean, I know what I'll be doing in this combat because we've got a choke point and yeah. I've got one casting dragon for it. <laughs> yeah. So I'll leave it here. Yeah. We'll call it next time. And then everyone can come back yeah. in. And I think we can have knots here. Yeah. 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 Mm. To do an Eldritch Blast. <laughs> That's. It's good works. Oh, it was written down Eldritch Blast. <laughs> yeah. That's your instructions. Just one dot point. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> All right, I'll stop recording there. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, that was going really well until it wasn't. Yeah. Cool.